What's up guys, Minor Friend Gaming back here, and um, today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on a little simple intro in Blender that you can make um, like that, hopefully. Um, uh, there's not going to be any too much like advanced stuff in here, but uh, there's like some simple stuff like how to make the text rotate, and um, we'll animate that out, and like, you know, how to make it um, move back and forth like it's bouncing in a way. Um, and all that stuff. Um, so when it first comes, when it first comes up, there'll be a cube here. What, what you'll do is just click it and hit X and delete it, and then you'll be about, about where I am. Of course, there'll be a camera here. I decided to delete that because I didn't need it right now. Um, I'll add one back later. Um, so here we go. Um, what you want to do is go over to the Create tab and hit Text. And move it on over right here. I don't know why it spawned over there, it usually doesn't for me. And you're gonna hit R X ninety. Oh, okay. R X ninety. And it's it's being weird. What the crap? That is not ninety degrees. R X. No. No. Okay, it's not. I don't know why it's not doing it. Well, usually you'd hit RX90, but it's not wanting to work with me today. Because you know you want to rotate X90, so I don't know why it's not going to do that. Um, so then we'll just go to uh, what we're looking for. Which is, ah, uh, rotation, put X at 90. And then Z at 90. And this is under the... Uh, text cube tab thing and then we'll move this in place you can hit I think it's shift to you now um shift tab no tab that's sorry I'm still on all this stuff and then you um just erase this put it's just okay this is not even on the ground apparently let's put um I don't know um just just for a um thing I don't know, let's kind of like capitalize that. Just... Nah, we can keep it, whatever. Okay, intro. Um, and then you hit tab again, and it gets rid of that, and then you can hit enter just to make sure nothing's uh, gonna be. Uh... No, now we want to move this back right there. Okay, it's being weird today. Usually this sits right on the line for you, but I don't know why it's not. Okay, um, by the way, you will want to eventually hit s Cycles Render. I'm not sure what it does, but this is from a tutorial I watched. Um, but um, I thought I'd get the tutorial a little more um, out here. So this says, cool intro. And um, all I did to do that was I hit tab, and it lets you edit the text. You can erase it, put your own um, channel name or whatever. I'm just using cool intro just as a, an example. Um, you then need to go. You can go over to the F, which is like a text thing. You can download some text um, like from my website, but I don't have any to um, use. And then you would just go over to here to font regular, and I'll f have Blender you. Uh, let Blender find out um, where it's at, and it will load it in for you. Um, but we're not going to do that. What we are going to do is turn this to the side, because it's really flat right now, and I'm pretty sure you don't want it flat. If you do, then here you go. You can just kind of skip ahead the video or whatever. But, uh, if you want, like me, I usually like to give it a little bit of a 3D look, because that's always a better look. 
and you can do that, and then give it an, a resolution of at least one, just so it looks better. And then um, depth, you can make them look more like cool and bubbly like that. Like you can take them real up and make them look like this, which looks a little too much. Just for now, I'll do I'll do like that, just so it looks kind of cool. Um, and then we're gonna look for bevel. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, I think it's under this. Okay, no, it's not there. Oh, it's right here. I missed, I missed it. I guess bevel is what I turned up. Yeah, that's what I turned up. But you can, um, yeah, so that's done. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why I thought that. Um, uh, let's go ahead and uh, select a color. You can uh, hit new, and this will make that. And then you can uh, go down here to color. Uh, should be changing it, but it's not. Oh. Okay, well then let's just leave this. Um, Black like that. Go to this. Change this. This will be your color. Um, let's make it like a nice blue with that. That looks kind of cool. Uh, you can do some other things to it. I'm not sure what these do, but that's uh, that. That's what I usually do. And um, then what you usually can do. Now, it's a good thing to hit Shift A and add a camera somewhere to uh, get set with um, whatever kind of intro you're going to want to do. Like how you want the how you want the thing to be done. That's probably pretty good is right here but you probably want it more zoomed out so it can get more into the camera okay there we go so then what I usually do is I you can pull over this like this by just um, dragging this upper corner up here and it pulls it over for you um, then you can do view camera and it'll show you the camera view you can, which that's pretty good. It got the whole thing in it basically um, right now. How about you want to? Uh, you want to uh, hit under no. Um, it's under. Um, I can't seem to find out where it's at. Oh, it's under this, isn't it? Yeah, you go lock to camera view. Oops. No, don't do that. We don't want to drag more over. No, stop. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I don't know what it's doing. We're going to just do that. And there we have two screens now. And like I said, all you do to do that is just grab up here and pull over. You can even make like three screens if you want to. Um, I'm probably not going to do that just because. But <clears throat> what you do now is um, 
Turn back on this side. And, um, kind of get ready to do what kind of intro you want to do. I'm probably going to do just the ones I told you, though, um, you can probably look up, but I'm going to do like a, um, I'm going to try to do one where the text, um, probably where the text spins and, um, falls, or like, falls down and maybe like from the air, falls down from the air and then spins maybe, like does like a spin and rotates and all that stuff. So uh, we'll try to do that. Okay, um, so we'll click on this text and we want it to, the first frame, we'll have it start like, that's good enough, right there. So then what I usually do is, you want to click down here to, I think, rotate scale, and then I hit I. Oh, usually I does it. Okay, now it's supposed to be, there it is, sorry. Sometimes it's get like lag, so you want to set it to locate, rotate, or lot, root, lot, or whatever, you know, it says, I think it's like location, rotation, or something like that. Um, and then pull it however many seconds you want. Of course, I'm not going to make it 250, of course, because that's just going to take too long to render. But <clears throat> um, so um, then um, you're going to go to put it wherever you want to, um, probably about 20, we'll have it, fall down, and that's where we'll put that, I, and there you go, you already have it falling now. It already falls down and it's that. And then we'll have it, um, about 40, we can have the text. Well, we can have it, uh, Maybe fly up. Now, right here, we'll have it fly up. Put it right there. So, right now, we have it go boom, and then it like pops up, kind of like it bounces from the ground. And then we'll have that 60, it will move. So, we'll hit R, and that's how you can rotate it. So, we'll have it go. Okay, now let's, uh, sorry, I messed up, so we'll have it go like that, and we'll hit I, 80, we'll have it, Um, yeah, we can do it right here again. No, 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 no. Okay, let's just redo that real quick. So then we'll have it come back down and we can hit I there. I think that's where I'm going to end it. So it's going to fall act like it bounces and then it's gonna do like a weird like cool little 
thing like that. So that's a, that's pretty cool though. I mean, that's a pretty cool intro if you want something like that. It makes it look like it's like about to fall or something. I could have one more thing added right here, where I just like. have it like fall like that so you could have it if I play it it does this and then it like falls it's kinda cool so then you're gonna wanna come over here once you have it done and of course you can make better ones than this like you can put like a background and all that on it as well but uh See in frame, we want it to be in one forty right there. Then, what you'll do is, um, in order for it to work, you have to render it out as a image first and then into um, a video which really doing that once you do once you render it into a video it doesn't take as long so um, that's pretty um, it's not as it's, it's gonna take a little time to render just because everything does I'll show you once I'll resume once it's done but um, first let me show you you would uh you can either you can select any one of these image formats, whichever one you're, you like or whatever your computer supports or whatever, which anyone should support JPEG and PNG and all that. So I usually keep it to PNG and then you can pick where you want it to be sent to, which I'm just going to put mine in a folder on the desktop. Um, let's name it what it was called. And we'll put it in that desktop. Um, cool intro. Oh, it's up here. You accept it, and then it will put it right there. And then you just hit render, and it'll show you what it should look like here. Now, since it's falling, it's not going to show up in the screen yet. But um, I'll resume this video once. Um, I'll resume this video once it is um, complete, so uh, it's going to take a little bit as it's taking right now. So I'm going to minimize this a minute and um, I'll be back here. Sorry guys, I can't figure out what I I should have written my buttons down to stop this. To bring up a little tool thing, I need to. This isn't part of the tutorial, by the way. Settings. Yeah, I need to go into this too. Oh crap! Stop and save. What? I can't freaking just Let me pause it.
Well, crap. Um, sorry guys, I know this is still going on. Oh, why can't I pause this? I thought I could pause it in this program. I'll be back. Yeah.
Alright guys, um, I'm sorry, I'm still recording, there is no way to freeze. Um, let's go ahead and uh, see where Blender is. Alright, well, we don't got too long to go. Um, I guess I'll just keep it um, recording, but uh, of course it's going to put it all in this folder right here as re is rendering it in um, images. Um, once that's done, you will, um, of course, you'll uh, go back into Blender and um, open it, or um, you'll click this, and go to the video editing tab, you'll then add the images as a strip in there. Then you'll come back to this default thing. You will render this out, render the images out as a um, AVI raw, and um, that will go to the same folder as this right here. And then um, the intro should play. Then you can put it in Movie Maker, add some like cool music, or you know, or put it in whatever editing software you use. Sadly, I have to use Movie Maker. <coughs> And to uh, make stuff, so that's that. Um, mine, I can show you my intro real quick that I made with this. Um, mine is actually in my videos. Um, no, it is. Uh, Uh, oh, it's in this one. <sighs> this is mine. Mine's pretty simple. From the dead. Mine's just like the text falls and then it just moves in back and forth to um the uh, song back to back to the dead or back from the dead. Yeah. Yeah, back from the dead. Sorry, I had to like act like I'm singing it to remember what it says. Um, that's for my channel. I'm using that in um, already one of my videos that I put up the other day. So, um, <coughs> uh, there's mine. I made that with Blender, and there we go. Uh, it's, it's opening Blender back. Um, it's a little bit of black right now, but there we go. Leave this open so we can just focus on doing this. Yes, it does take a long time to render. Maybe if I had a little bit faster CPU or if I had it overclocked, I might be able to um, render this out a little bit quicker, but I uh, doubt it, honestly. All right. Um. Of course, I will put blend this blender um thing in the description if you want to download Blender and um use this. It's a great editing or great um, animation slash intro maker you can make a lot of stuff with it, you can make car crashes if you're that advanced with it, you can make like pretty cool looking car crashes with this um, I'm not even good at doing that right now, I'm just good at making like simple intros and all that that are just words, like I can't even make someone running <clears throat> um, maybe I'll get better at that though, but uh, I'm not sure so let's, we'll be doing that Um, also, uh, I'm going to be trying to upload videos every day that I can. Try to get back into that grind. Of course, with the college classes I'm taking, I'll be a little bit busy, but uh, when I'm free, 
which will be just after I'm done with my work for a day or, you know, one day or whatever. Then, um, be back to making a video. <clears throat> um, I'm hoping to do a American Truck Simulator video, um, in the next couple of days or so. Um, this intro is about, I'd say, 75% done. Really wish I could pause this. Alright guys, so I'm just going to um, end this right here, and I'm going to make a part two of this. Oh, I probably should have kept that up. I'll make a part two, and um, I hope to got. I, I will see you guys in part two, and um, it'll be the basically just the finished product of it. Um, I'll show how to render it as an animation one is once as it once as it's in images, which is what it's doing right now. Um, so you don't get confused with that, about that, how to do that, and um, I'll do that because this video is running on too long. The animation is taking a little bit longer to render than I thought it might. It's nearly done, but it's still going to take just about a couple minutes. So I'll come back and make a part two literally right after this. So um, stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.